How sweet the sound that saved someone like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Once blind, but now I see. Can we take, take that, that stanza all together? Because that's our testimony together. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved someone like me I once was lost but now I'm found once blind but now Praise God together. Praise God. 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 Everlasting Father, that's our testimony, O oh God. Once we were blind, but now we can see. We who were once lost, you have redeemed with your precious blood. We who were once far away, you have brought near unto yourself. We can call you Abba, Father. We can go to you in prayers we can call upon your name oh god we have peace because of you oh god father we give you praise we thank you for who you are in our lives oh god lord knowing you serving you has put meaning into our existence oh god every day oh god your faithfulness is new father lord we give you praise we give you worship oh god for who you are unto you is our gathering again this evening father it's a miracle service because you are the god of miracles you are in the house oh god unto you is our gathering tonight oh god you are highly exalted you are highly exalted oh god our eyes are upon you father and we thank you oh god because every one of us oh god those miracles that we need in our lives father king of glory we thank you for your word to us oh god you said oh god even unto us that you the god of all grace who has called us into your eternal glory after we have suffered a while just a while just a while oh god lord almighty concerning us king eternal for every one of us oh god you will perfect you will establish you will strengthen and you will settle us father we thank you father we thank you lord for your word to us father lord we give you praise hey, And ye shall lay shall sorrow matter say, a sorrow matter say, I we my 
the God who speaks and does the God who does what he says the everlasting father can we lift up our hands and just worship this most that's the least that we can do to worship this most high God just lift up those hands and just worship him the psalmist said let the lift up of my hands be like the evening sacrifice oh God unto you we have come oh God tonight father we've come to worship you we've come to dine at your table oh God we've come unto you our God our king our father our strength we worship you Lord thank you everlasting father thank you for miracles in the house tonight oh God because you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above what we can ask or think or even imagine according to your power that works within us thank you father in Jesus name we worship amen hallelujah shout hallelujah 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 praise the Lord praise the Lord brother okay thank you very much for blessing us can we appreciate brother okay thank you for being a blessing to us about two weeks ago we traveled to Kano uh, to Kano church actually I wasn't keen on going uh, because of my mom really whom I'm looking after and um, for me every day with her is a bonus <laughs> so I'm holding on I was holding on to her you know so I didn't I didn't really want to go but later I was convinced that I should go and uh, my husband so we went to Kano I was last there 30 years ago since we left there I had not returned there I left there with a six months old baby our second born was six months old when we left Kano and here I was coming back 30 years after and all I could just say to the Lord was thank you I, I wish I could say more I, I mean but God sees my heart I mean only he could have brought us this far place I left 30 years ago with a six month old baby and a three year old well going to be three year old son and three six months old baby to return 30 years after as a grandmother the church where we were our home church I call that church our home church I was given the privilege to speak and honestly the only thing that I remember about Kano for good thank God for the children thank God for my home was that church our life was revolving around that church that was our life in Kano that was our life go to work come back home go to church that was our life it pays to serve God it pays to serve God it pays to serve God that was that was our life the bishop of the church who is late now I missed him but he had done his own part also he and his wife the wife was there and uh, okay who just sang we were in the same church together then 
Okay was one of the boys around, young boy, young. Okay, okay we, 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 I mean, I won't call you a man then. Now you were a boy then. Not be so. Not be so. Give me. Am I okay? Can I call you a boy? Yes. Yeah. One of the boys around then. You know, when we got back 30 years after, just as okay now is a man man established man that's how all those people also god is a good god doesn't leave anybody out of it all of us okay's life my life our life those people that we left there who were there then whom we still met there every one of us every one of us no one left out our lives have been from glory to glory. Okay, the father of two wonderful sons, he had to stop because he was advised to stop, otherwise he could, he could bring eight more. Okay, not be so. <laughs> Thank God for KG, you know. And here we are today. My testimony is that Oluwa don't sin. It is, God is sweet to serve. Let's just continue to serve him. There is no other God besides this God. After you have suffered a while, yes, would there be rough times? There will be rough times. Would there be tough times? There will be tough times. Would there be times when things, as he just sang in, the, in that, yes, those times, they will come. But the house built on the rock, the storms will come. The wind will come. But that house will be standing. Hallelujah. So for you who are in church tonight. We are the wise people. There will be so many excuses why some people are not here tonight. The only church was our life. That was our life. I mean. Pastor, you know your pastor now, with timeliness. We are not the gate men of the church. We are not employed as gate men, but we are assistant gate man. Now we open the church. Now we close them. But see what the Lord has done. Faithful God. Let's just put in everything to serve. There is no other God to serve but this God. And there is no other life but this life. So we are going to give him our best. And in this year of divine settlement, our lives will be a testimony still in Jesus' name. God's word to us tonight, you could title it, According to the Power at Work in Us. According to the Power at Work in Us. According to the Power at Work in Us. God's word came to us, 1 Peter 5.10, which I just quoted. If you, if you read from the earlier part of that, of that chapter 5 of 1 Peter, even most, most of 1 Peter, Peter was encouraging God's children who were going through different, different kinds of, of persecutions and en just encouraging them. And in verse 10 here, it says, But may the God of all grace... The God of all grace, who has called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus. He has called us. Not will call us. We are called already. Can you say I'm called already? If you are a born again child of God, you are sure of that. You have been called into. So we are speaking from the position of God's glory. Hallelujah. We have been called into. Who has called us to his, his eternal glory by Christ Jesus. After you have suffered a while. God's word is so, is so plain. It's, it's so true. There are times in which things will be, happen and you'll be wondering. Ah, ah, what is this? How is this? But as long as our eyes are fixed on the fact of God's word. As Pastor, Pastor Dutton brought God's word to us the last two Sundays. Again encouraging us that there will be tough times. But we must have our faith must be fixed on the fact of God's word. And our experiences will line up. Hallelujah. 
after we have suffered a while, this same God, he will perfect, he will establish, he will strengthen, and he will settle us. Hallelujah. You know, I don't know the, I don't know the kind of school that you went to, but in my, in my school, we're very quick to have mnemonics to help us to remember. And in medical school, it was even more. Because you had a lot of things to read. And so to help yourself, you just create a, a, a mnemonic so you can remember. So, it's, so for me, this year, God will pass me. P-E-S-S. -S. He will perfect. He will establish. He will strengthen. He will settle me. Hallelujah. Tell anybody, God will pass you. Glory be to God. God has spoken his word already. And when God speaks his word, that word is already, that word, God's word, God's power follows his word. God's power follows his word. He has spoken that word already. And I would like to just, just remind us, because we need to keep reminding ourselves about, because that is, that is, that is how faith comes, by hearing and hearing of God's word. That is God's word to us. And as God's servant told us, when that word came to us, he said, that word settlement carries the understanding of reinforcement, to reinforce all those good and great things that God has already put in place in our lives. In this year of, of divine settlement. And Psalm 90 verse 17. Was read. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us. And establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Can we just read this verse and take, take it now personal. And let the beauty of the Lord my God be upon me. And establish the work of my hands. For me, yes, establish the work of my hands. Can we take it together? And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon personal and establish the work of my hands. Yes, establish the work of my hands. God will establish those good things that He has put in place already in our lives. Glory be to God. Reinforcement, rest. Particularly in the area of our relationships. Rest. Resolution. Where there were crises. There will be, there'll be resolution. There will be residence. Settling down. Of those good and great things that God has put in place in our lives. They will become resident. There will be relocation, moving to where we should be in every area of our lives. Divine settlement. And, we went, and God's servant went on to let us know those things that are contributors. Like we're told, we're not going to contribute anything to God. There's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing for, for us to give God. But our own part in this. And we're encouraged on to taking the covenant seriously. Taking the covenant of God serious because we are co co covenant children. Taking that covenant seriously. God told Israel in Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. Don't forget our title is according to the power at work in us. Now if you shall come, now it shall come to pass. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. God talking to Israel through his servant Moses. I love the book of Deuteronomy so much. Because it was just like a man who is about to leave the scene. is giving you the salient point. Moses was about leaving the scene. And he went back to what he had told them before. He went back again to give them. Hear this, O Israel. Now, if you shall, now it shall come to pass. If you diligently obey. The voice of the Lord your God. To observe carefully 
all his commandments, which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth. That is the covenant. Israel, you are covenant children. You and I, we are not ordinary people. We are not mere men. We are covenant children. As we live conscious of that covenant. As we live with that, with, we're told about covenant, told about cessation. There are some things that, we sh that should not be named with us. For us to enjoy this, this word that God has sent to us. A few weeks ago, I heard something about a member of this church. And I was so disappointed. I, I told myself, and this person talking about divine settlement. With all this, with all this, God, all this stuff. So it should not be named among us. Abraham told Lot, just go. Go your way. We should put some things far from us. They should not be named amongst us. Cessation. We are told about conviction. Faith. There's no room for unbelief. Our eyes are fixed on God's word. And we're told, God's servant told us last two Sundays, we should keep confessing that, that word. Because that is what we believe. That's what we believe. And as we keep confessing that word, faith in our heart is growing. Conviction. This is what I believe. This is what I believe. My gaze is on God's word. It's my year of divine settlement because this is what God has to say. God has said it that he, he has called me unto his, his, eternal, his eternal glory. That after I have suffered a while, it is just a while. He will perfect. He will establish. He will strengthen. And he will settle me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we're told lastly, charity, love. Walking in love towards the brethren. Walking in love. People of God, the ball is in our court. The ball is in our court. When you play lawn tennis in particular, that is where the whole idea of this came from. Or games that you play with a court and that has a lawn, that has your space. The ball is in our court. God has given his, us his word. It is for us now to stand in. To stand in. God does not want us to be like the prodigal son's brother. In Luke 15. Because he has sent his word to us. And he is able to do. Ephesians 3.20 says to us, Now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. According to the power that works in us. That power that works in us is the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the power that works in us. And God's word, when God's word comes, power comes. Because God's, God's power follows his word. And that word has been sent to us. And that's why it says that the ball is in our court. According to the power that works in us. That word has been released. That divine settlement is ours already. Jeremiah 1 verse 11. Let's see that very quickly. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? Fine branch members, what do you see? Bridget, what do you see? I see divine settlement. In whatever area of life that you are trusting God for, see it. What do you see? And he replied. And God said to him in verse 12. Then the Lord said to, said, said to me. You have seen well. For I am ready to perform my word. Hallelujah. God is ready to perform his word. He is the one who will perfect that word. That he has sent to us. 
Isaiah 45, 46, 11, the B part. Isaiah 46, 11, the B part. Indeed, I have spoken it. I will also bring it to pass. I will also bring it to pass. I have proposed it. I will also do it. Hallelujah. These are scriptures that we should arm ourselves with this year. As we wake up to every bright day of our lives. God has proposed it. He will also do it. He will also do it. God's power, like I said, follows his word. And that word has been given to us. We've been told about the contributors. We've been told also about the ingredients. So the ball is in our court. Hebrews 1.3 Who, being the brightness of his glory, and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power. Upholding all things by the word of his power. Upholding all things by the word of his power. God upholds all things by the word of his power. As long as that word has come, again, the ball is in our courts. The Holy Ghost is the executive power of the Godhead. We will not be like, like, the, like the, prodigal son, the prodigal son's brother. Let's look at that in Luke 15 from verse 25. The prodigal son's brother, for those who may not know this account, we don't assume that everybody went to Sunday school, everybody grew up in church. The prodigal son left, asked the father to give him his inheritance and left. He was a younger son. The, the, the account is in Luke 15. The brother who, who, stayed, who stayed at home, now is the person that we are reading about. Now his old, from verse 25, now his older son was in the field. And as he came and drew near to the house, he heard music and dancing. So he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. And he said to him, your brother has come. And because he has received him safe and sound, your father has killed the fatted calf. But he was angry and would not go in. Therefore, his father came out and pleaded with him. So he answered and said to his father, Lo, these many years I have been serving you. I never transgressed your commandments at any time. And yet you never gave me a young goat that I might make merry with my friends. But as soon as this son of yours came, who has devoured your livelihood with harlots, you killed the fatted calf for him. And he said to him, the father said to him, Son, you are always with me, and all that I have is yours. This prodigal son's older brother, just as we have contributors to our divine settlement, the opposite of these contributors, you can call it hindrances or oppositions to, our, to divine settlement. Yes, he may have felt bad that he was that that uh, that, 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 that that he wasn't uh, given a calf, but he wasn't a good person. That's the truth. This guy should not ordinarily when your brother has left, and they did, there was no address, there was nothing. He was like lost that he came back. His reaction, his first reaction should be, "Oh, thank God, he's back." But he was angry. He was not walking in love. He wasn't walking in love. He was only saying out what was in his mind. That was who he really was. 
he wasn't a, he wasn't he wasn't a guy who was working in love. So for us who are in the house, we mustn't allow ourselves to walk in enmity. Nobody is worth us losing what God has said to us. Nobody is nobody is is worth. There is nobody in this life that is worth my going to hell for. There is, there is nobody who is worth my losing what God has said about me for. This prodigal son's brother was angry. That was his first reaction. He was angry. His father knew, knew the kind of, of son that, that he had. That was why he came out to, to, be, to be petting him. He said, look, your, your, your brother was lost. Now he's found. And then the next thing was grumbling. I have been staying. Nothing was done for me. I've been coming to church. I've been doing so and so and so. I've been doing so and so and so. I remember when, when our daughter had, had, had an accident. Somebody said, ah, ha, 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 Please, don't say that. Mercy found me. Simple. If she had been brought dead and from, from the place as they were coming, she was, she was losing, losing blood and from that place rushed into... They, they don't even rush anyway. They, they don't rush, rush, rush a dead man. That's why I wonder at times those who are carrying people to the, to the go and bury, they be blowing siren. Siren for, to leave road for where? Don't be in a hurry. There's no hurry in it. I won't have been the first. There are good Christians who have suffered losses. It is the mercy of God. We go out and we come in. It is the mercy of God. People, while they are enjoying pepper, pepper, pepper soup on their table, person that they bought with, with, with their own money, fish that they bought with their own money, from there to, to, to ICU. Because fish, the bone hang in the throat. It's the mercy of God. Just the mercy of God. We have been in the house. We, God is set, is more than set to do his great work in our lives. But it's according to the power at work in us. It's the power of the Holy Ghost that is at work in us. And the Holy Ghost works God's word. The Holy Ghost works God's word. He's the executive power of the Godhead. God said, let there be light, and there was light. God said, God has said about you and I, after you have suffered a while, I will perfect, I will establish, I will strengthen, I will settle you. Church, let's rise up on our feet. According to the power at work in us, the prodigal son's brother, what was working in him, was anger, was grumbling, was comparing himself, was not working in love. But in us, tonight, God's word has been, has been given to us. Lord, your power is at work in me. The power of the Holy Ghost that work in our lives. According to that power, we will see it all happen. What are you trusting God for tonight? It's a miracle service. According to the power at work in us. The power of the Holy Ghost is at work in us. God upholds all things by the, by, by the word of his power. By the word of his power. It is nothing for God to deliver by few or by many. It's a miracle service. He is able to do. 
He is able to do. Bring that issue before him. What have you come to God for? What miracle are you asking the Lord for tonight? What miracle are you asking him for? He is not intimidated by your need. He is able to do exceedingly abundantly above. According to the power at work in us. And the, and the father said, son, all I have is yours. Can I ask you a question? Does God have healing? Does God have promotion? Does God have provision? Does God have sustenance? Does God have naira? Does God have pounds? Does God have good health? Does God have increase? Does God have... Just think about it. All that he has is ours. If our father has it, it is ours. Because we are not bastards. Our father has it. It is ours. Our father has it. It is ours. Our father has it. It is ours. We are not bastards. We have been called into eternal glory in Christ Jesus. Our father has it. It is ours. Yes, so ask him. Ask him. He has it. He has it. He's able to do it. Oh, my children. Oh, this one. Oh, that one. Oh, trusting God for Our father has it. He 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 has healing. He has deliverance. He has provision. He has good sight. He has whatever. Every good and every perfect gift comes from him. The father of lights in whom there is no variableness, neither is there a shadow of turning. Our father has it. My father has it. I'm, I'm not a bastard. My father has it. It is mine. My father has it. It is mine. My father has it. It is mine. And so I ask and I receive with thanksgiving. I receive with thanksgiving. I receive with thanksgiving. I receive with thanksgiving. I rejoice in it. I rejoice in it because I believe that I will see his goodness in the land of the living. I believe I will see his goodness in the land of the living. I will see his goodness in the land of the living. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You are here with one ache or pain. Just lay your hands on yourself and receive your healing. Or a loved one with one issue or the other, just receive it. What you are trusting God for, just mark today. Remember today, 24th of January. God is able to do according to the power at work in us. And the only power at work is the power of the Holy Ghost. And what the Holy Ghost works with is God's word. And God's word has come. God's word has come. Just let us celebrate God's word. Let's celebrate God's word. Let's celebrate God's word. Let's celebrate his word to us. Lord, we celebrate your word, oh God. We celebrate your word. We celebrate your word. We celebrate your word is you, oh God. We celebrate your word. We thank you, Father. We give you praise. We receive the miracle. We receive the miracle. We receive the miracle. You, 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 you came here with one with an ache or a pain, or there's anything that that that, that you, you you can you you can you can you can know right away. I want to check yourself. Check yourself right now. Believe God and just go ahead. What you could not do before, just do it. You want to if if you want if you want, if you want, want to testify, you can lift lift up your hand. God is able to do. His power is in the house. He's the one doing it. He's the God of miracles. 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 Is there anybody who wants to, who wants to testify tonight before we to take our seat? Anybody? Just, just check yourself. Just check yourself. Just check yourself. Just check yourself. Baba ni tori oro re agbe ogawo Baba ni tori oro re agbe oga Baba ni tori oro re agbe oga Baba ni tori oro re agbe Baba ni tori 
orore agbe oga baba ni tori orore agbe oga everlasting father we thank you for your word to us tonight thank you for the miracles in the house thank you for the ones that we can know right away and thank you for many more which we shall come to testify thank you for your word to us according to your power at work in us we thank you we enjoy we receive we feast in your word to us we shall return with testimonies father we give you praise in jesus name amen 